Ann Robluski. Long before we ever met, I had been praying for you. I asked the Lord countless times to send the woman that He had chosen for me. Every time I asked, He consistently replied with the words, Be patient. Patience has never been my forte. Um, but I knew He had a plan for me. And I knew His timing is always perfect. So I remained patient and faithful that he would make the introduction when the time was right. Steve, you are the love of my life, my ride or die, and partner in crime. From the first time we spoke on the phone three years ago, I knew you would become my best friend and soulmate. You helped me through one of the toughest times of my life by picking up the pieces of someone else's mess and listening to me cry on the phone and ensuring me that everything will be okay. I am grateful that you came into my life when you did. You turned out to be my knight in shining armor. Remember where I first said I love you? It was our second or third date, but it seemed like our 14th. Even on the ski lift at Gore, we both knew we were going to be each other's forever ski buddy. And I knew by those couple of days, I couldn't picture my life without you ever again. I promise that I will love you for all the years of my life and remain open to your wishes, thoughts, and feelings, and needs. I love you, Steve, always and forever. I never thought I'd meet another person who loves snow as much as me, or maybe even more. I never thought I'd be lucky enough to have a wife who shares my passion for skiing. I never thought I'd have a woman whose strengths so perfectly align with my weaknesses. I never thought I'd have one have someone as perfect for me as you are. Laura, you are so much more than I have ever prayed for. Laura, you are my lover, my best friend, and my forever chairlift companion. Steve, you are the love of my life, my ride or die, and partner in crime. From the first time we spoke on the phone three years ago, I knew you would become my best friend and soulmate. You helped me through one of the toughest times. You were not only my knight in shining armor, but also diamonds. I want all of your dreams to come true, even if they are not mine too, because it makes them no longer just yours, but ours.
My name is Jennifer. I am the maid of honor. Being a part of another family besides my own made me realize how all families go through difficult times and such memorable times. But at the end, family is family and love will always be there. No, I will always be there. The Flyers games, weekends at the beach with your family, and overnight summer camps. Thinking back to when your first crush ever for the longest time was my brother, Sean, who is here tonight. Think of we would really be sisters-in-laws back in the day. I wish the two of you nothing but the best. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds for you. I love you both. Congratulations. Congratulations to the beautiful couple. You guys look absolutely amazing tonight. Laura. Laura, I must say you look slightly more beautiful than Steve. And to all of you, thank you so much for being here tonight on behalf of the bride and the groom. I think we have an amazing evening ahead of ourselves. And I just want you guys to know and to think about the foundation that you guys have been starting the last couple of years and the foundation that you're starting today as a married couple. And I want you to know that you're surrounded by a great group of people who love and support you. And I could not be more excited to be alongside you guys as you continue to build your relationship. Make some coffee. So let's get back to that bachelor party. <laughs> I had booked us a ski chalet on the side of a mountain in the Catskills of New York. We drove up on a Friday and we skied Saturday and Sunday. And as we drive up on Friday, we get to the mountain and it's 18 degrees out. One of the coldest weekends of the season in the Catskills. We have a nice dinner. We have some drinks. We go to bed relatively early for a bachelor party because we're getting up early the next day to ski. And the next morning, I wake up and it's five degrees outside. Again, one of the coldest nights of the season in the Northeast. And Steve comes out of his bedroom and he has this big gash on the side of his head and it's bleeding. And I said, Steve, what happened? And he looks at me and he says, oh, I think last night before bed, I went out to get my eyeglasses at my car and I fell coming back inside. And I said, okay, well, why don't we go outside and take a look? Maybe we can find out what happened. So all the guys are naturally intrigued. All the guys walk down to the creek, down the snow covered hill. And we quickly notice there is a blood trail from the creek to the house like somebody had shot a deer. And I bring this up for a couple of reasons. First of all, Steve, I am glad you're with us tonight, pal. And Laura, you may need to take a bit more care of Steve than you originally thought. Laura, I just want to let you know how happy I am that you're married to my best friend. I knew from the moment I met you that you were a loving and caring person. And I knew shortly after that, as we continued to build our friendship, that you were absolutely perfect for Steve. If you all raise a glass and toast to our newlywed couple, Steve and Laura, cheers to a lifetime of happiness and adventures. That's right when it's wrong, I've stayed here too long, but something brings me back to you. I swear we belong, I'm still hanging on But something brings me back to you Back to you, back to you, back to you Back to you, back to you, back to you I swear we 